Hello, everyone. So, I've been having a lot of fun with this challenge in backpack battles where you're only allowed to buy two particular items in the entire game. So, what that looks like is, let's say I'm playing as the Pyromancer, right? And I choose Thorn Whips and Bananas, which means I'm not allowed to buy anything in this supply. I'd have to roll and look for a banana, right? And, um, yeah, I can only pick up bananas, but I still get like my starting items i still get the generated flames i still get any items that are generated i can also take my uh, subclass item just fine so i think this challenge is really fun uh just like the strategy of choosing two different items i think is really interesting so the combo i want to try to showcase is whetstones and phoenix so whetstones will let us get the burning blade on the pyromancer which is a really solid weapon and Phoenix, as we know, another really solid weapon. Now, this is going to be pretty tough because I'm really not going to have all that much to work with. But hopefully I can pull it off. So we do get one of our whetstones right away. I can't buy this flame, but I can use any flames that are naturally generated with a fire pit. So we're just going to hard roll looking for a second whetstone. And there we go. And yeah, that's... uh. That's really going to be about it for the early game. So we're just going to look for whetstones and kind of try and buffer some energy going into the mid game so we can start digging for phoenixes. And we do manage to win this battle just a bit barely thanks to our uh, thanks to our whetstoned up sword. So we're crafting our burning blade. So let's go ahead and keep looking for more whetstones. There's one. And sadly, we can't find another. But we will hard roll again next round. Because we do want to get the Burning Blade online as fast as possible. Because that's kind of like the only way that we can even have a chance in these early battles. Because once we get to the mid game, we are going to start losing pretty hard. And as you see there, we do lose pretty handily against that Berserker. Because that's what happens when you're only allowed to buy so much. So, yep, getting the Burning Blade up. And... Yeah, so now we're looking for bags that can hopefully make us a little bit stronger, so like a fanny pack. But I'm going to go ahead and start the next round here because um, because it doesn't look like I'll be finding a fanny pack anytime soon. Uh, at least it's unlikely we'll find a fanny pack. We're going to want three fanny packs to increase the speed of our burning sword by 30%. And, okay, looks like we maybe will win this. We are getting, like, really debuffed here, so it looks like it would be narrow if we did win, but yeah. We didn't win that battle, but now we do get our Burning Blade. So this is a really solid weapon. And obviously, it could be better. Uh, we're going to roll here a couple times. I'm going to pass again. Uh, right now, it's pretty low chance we're going to find any any Phoenixes. So we're going to have to hopefully get a little bit lucky into our early Legendaries rounds. But it looks like we're losing it here again. Okay, well, that's one win, three losses. We do find our first fanny pack. So we're going to want as many of those as we can find. We find a whetstone, which will slightly increase our damage output. Oh, yeah, we're also allowed to buy bags, of course. Otherwise, the challenge would be quite a silly. All right. And there we go. Another fanny pack. We did find our first legendary. Sadly, not a phoenix. But we're going to now be rolling off, looking for that phoenix, trying to get lucky. And also trying to look for our third fanny pack. So, yep, we have a sped up Burning Blade and nothing else. Looks like we are falling behind in this battle. Maybe they run out of stamina and we can get ahead that way. Uh, doesn't look like it. And looks like we will be losing this fight once again. All right, down to one life. So hopefully we can pull this off. But, you know, <sighs> I'd understand if we don't, right? Of course, if you're seeing this, that means I probably pulled it off. And hard roll, didn't find it. Uh, I'm going to start it here, and I'm going to start eating up two gold rerolls. We really have to win this. Looks like we will be winning this. We're going against a Goobert with a dagger and a forging hammer. So they're actually just not doing anything, and yeah, we, we should be able to win this. That's the kind of the battles we're hoping to see. So now we're really looking for our Phoenix. We don't need a stamina sack here. Definitely not. Okay. Um, another fanny pack? No, we're hard looking for that Phoenix. 
And yeah, it's a 50% chance for a legendary, but we have to find it. Uh, yeah, we didn't find it, and it's unlikely we're going to roll into it on sale, so we might as well pass here. Hold on to our cash, look for it next time. We're going against Double Shovel Thorn Whip. They're very stamina hungry, so maybe with the fact that we just have one weapon that's scaling up in damage, we can beat them. If they're, like, falling uh, back, and it looks like that isn't the case. Alright. You know what? We'll try again. That was too short. But yeah, you get you can get the idea of what the early game here is going to look like. We're hard rolling, looking for two whetstones. Uh, we will take a fanny pack here, I suppose. That's on sale, and we'll just send it here. Unfortunately, we only found one of our whetstones, but we could probably try and recover this. And yep, do lose there. That's kind of expected, honestly. Okay, we found our second whetstone. Perfect. And we can speed up our hero sword twice here. Uh, let's roll again, looking for the dagger. Uh, not the dagger, the whetstone. I just saw four costs, and my brain just said, ooh, yeah, that works. Okay, going up, it's a pan and a wooden sword. Um, I think that we lose this one on average, but it's actually kind of close, it looks like. Ooh, we do win. I think we win just off the fact that we get, fifth, like... 12 extra health off of the fire bags. Okay. Yeah, this battle... So this game is going to be quite challenging. But... We can see if we can pull it off here. Still looking for more whetstones. There we go. There's one. And we're going to hard roll looking for it. Because we do want the high chance of commons. Because... Yeah, we're looking for commons and legendaries. Going up against a Goobert with a Tusk Poker. I think it's very likely we lose this just because Tusk Poker is so strong in the early game. And yeah, we do get taken out here. How unfortunate. Okay. So now there's a question of do you want this 10% faster or to get 4 max health? I think we'd rather get that 10% faster. We do see this Draconic Orb, which is kind of a shame that we cannot pick up but we do also get our burning blade online so yeah we also found a pineapple which you know if we were going for a pineapple build i'd be really happy about that okay and looks like we are i think managing to get through this there we go Ooh, we find the phoenix perfect Alright, so with this Phoenix, we actually stand a chance now. Uh, we, we actually have, like, a way we could theoretically win this. So, there we go. We speed up the Phoenix. We speed up the Burning Blade. Hopefully, this will be able to get us through this. Okay. We do manage to actually win that battle against a Thorn Whip Torch. That's really exciting because that's actually a pretty tough build to beat this early in the game. So let's take another fanny pack here. We do want to be speeding up our items as much as we can. In fact, speeding up this burning blade I think is such high priority that we are going to do that over the four max health we could be taking from Phoenix Charges. Okay, and right now we have a relatively low chance for another Phoenix, so I'm just going to let it ride here. But next round, I think I'm going to be rolling more aggressively, looking for more Phoenixes, looking for more Fanny Packs. Okay, going up against a Burning Sword and Wooden Sword, which are not adjacent. So maybe they run out of stamina, we can squeak in a win. Yeah, we do. Okay. We're slowly and steadily building up more Flames. Let's take some... Uh, do we take the space? I don't think I take this space. I think I'm looking for utility space. Like the... Uh, I guess not the stamina sack. We don't really need more stamina. But the godly sacks would be good. Then again, I think that it might just be good to take this just because I need a little bit more space for a phoenix. So I'll, I'll find one on sale. I'm sure of it. Ooh, there we go. There is a phoenix and a fanny pack. So we can take that. We now have two phoenixes cooking. And we have a fanny pack in reserve. So with double phoenixes, we should feel pretty good about this. We're going to be buffing up our phoenixes a lot. And they're going to be doing a ton of damage. They're going to be giving me two revives here. Hopefully that's enough to get me over the line. And just barely. 
We're coming into the subclass round with four lives. That's insane. Okay, we definitely want this Dark Lantern because this will obviously synergize with all of the revives we're getting. And okay, we get a fanny pack there. Let's keep rolling. Um, I'll find better space than that. Ooh, another Phoenix. Perfect. That's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Okay, so this doesn't have any sort of... Uh, any sort of like persistent effect, but okay. Let's see. Can we reasonable like where can we fit this? We kind of get like three here, which I guess might have to be good enough. There's might be some way to optimize it some more, but I'm gonna send it like this. I'm probably need to just pick up some more space because this like starting heat is really important because all the starting heat we get is going to make all of our weapons do more and more damage so we have an invulnerability frame there um and yeah we managed to win another match there more phoenixes so i do need to take every single phoenix i can find um so yeah i will be locking that actually i'm not sure i could really fit this third phoenix in but i'm not really sure i want to uh also yeah it's looking like it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to even get like this going right so maybe we do something like that kind of sucks we're missing out on more heat that we could potentially be getting but this is okay we're going to be getting three um, three flame items on that, so that's going to give us 15 damage on resurrections. We have two resurrections. It'd be nice to have more, but we can only get so much. And we need more space here. It looks like it's going to be challenging for us to win this battle. We get a little bit of invincibility time there. We do still win. Okay, yeah, this is this is going very well, surprisingly. I think I'm actually going to roll looking for space here. Because I need to get space to just fit in my phoenixes right now. And okay, I guess like, you know, ask and we shall receive more fanny packs. So where can we put you? Um, let me put you here. And that will give us full stars, speed up our items pretty reasonably. Okay, I'm happy with that. We do want more space, but we're not in a big rush. It's just a chain whip. So pretty happy that that's all we have to deal with here. And the invincibility time is going to be huge for us. And yeah, we are losing a ton of life because every time the phoenixes attack, we are losing 12 health. So... Honestly, once we get to four phoenixes, like, maybe we're good. I'm saying maybe here, right? Maybe I just want even more space, though. So I think here, instead of putting up the phoenix, I do just want more setup heat because that will enable my phoenixes to all deal more damage, which will increase the sort of advantage we get because right now we're getting relatively low advantage on hits, but as we... Because, every, every, like, uh, they're taking 12 damage off of us. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. That was really fast, actually. This feels surprisingly strong for how obviously terrible it is. Okay, okay. So, yep, we do find more space here. Uh, we do want all the space we can to just fit in all of our phoenixes. Okay, and yeah, we can put you right here. And that will let us, once again, get more damage on this because it's touching the Burning Blade. Okay, we're taking a ton of damage here, but fortunately, they're taking even more. And yeah, that takes them straight out. Okay, how long even was that combat? That was the whole six and a half seconds. So yeah, this is... This is surprisingly functional. Like, this is actually really easy <laughs> to pull off which i did not expect at all um especially after that first battle i'm kind of like okay yeah so uh, this is going to be like a super tough challenge to do but now nah, this is making it making it look easy 
Uh, let's go ahead and work towards our fifth Phoenix. We're going to fill up our pack with all this heat. We're probably also going to want to reorganize, trying to get better use from our fanny packs. Because I do want to stick the landing here. Um, even, okay, as like overwhelming as our victories have been so far, right? It, it's not like a time to get overconfident by any stretch. Um, do I take this stamina sack? I don't think I do. Do I take this whetstone is another question. So the whetstone is kind of a way to increase my damage output a little bit. But is that worth it? I mean, I don't have many other ways to scale up, so I'll see how I feel about it. Uh, speaking of, I'm, yeah, I'm not really finding the spaces I'm looking for. There we go. A protective purse is perfect, and we're going to give a little bit extra damage to our burning blade here. Okay, and next round, I'm going to reorganize this, try and get more he starting health off of the fire because I think that's actually pretty relevant because that. Um, matters for our Dark Lantern. Okay, that was a really close match. We only had 2 heat and 30 health, so... I mean, next time we died, we'd have done 20 damage again. But, yeah, that was pretty close. It's getting uncomfortable. Do we want a 6th Phoenix? Can we even fit a 6th Phoenix is another question. Uh, I think it'd be quite the challenge, but I think we have to take it. It's like, what else are we doing with our lives, right? <laughs> Okay, and I think that it's actually that one extra setup heat's better than the whetstone because that will, like, every four heat buffs all my weapons by one damage. So, yeah. And pretty nice to have. Okay. So, 15 heat right off the rip. 16 heat that buffs up all my weapons by four damage. So, this is going to be doing a ton. And, okay. It looks like it's coming down to the wire and we do lose there. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting to end out with full lives. But looks like we are guaranteed at this point to actually finish out with a win. Um, at least surviving. So that's really nice. Okay. Ooh, an on-sale Phoenix. Hilarious. Um, I think I am going to roll one more time looking for more space. There we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and reorganize this. I think that might not have to be good enough. I think we just have to set it like this. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we managed to get like all of these phoenixes adjacent to this burning blade, but yeah, that is like all we have going for us. Anyone with damage mitigation like this, like this dragon scale armors are just gonna kick our butt. Uh, yeah, even with minor optimizations, we couldn't have made that happen. Ooh, we do find a pumpkin. Too bad we can't use it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there a spot that I can, like, get all four of these without having to, like, stress out and change too much? I don't think that there really is. So, let's go ahead and put our flames out. Because that's really what matters right now, is just filling up all these last spaces with flames that we possibly can. And there we go. That's three spaces for three flames. 
Okay. And, uh, maybe we can find a way to fit in this last phoenix. I mean, I doubt it, but imagine, right? So we're going up against a poison goober, which I think we should have an okay time against. They do have that scary, scary damage mitigation. Uh, it's coming down to the wire, and ooh, six health remaining. All right. Close, close, but I would love to win this last battle. Uh, yeah, we would have won if we actually optimized this last slot in the Dark Lantern, so... You know, joke's on me, I guess. Um, it's just like, uh, how can I do it, right? Because I'm not, like, seeing many better ways to configure my six phoenixes, right? Because I can do something like that, but then that doesn't even see the the, the fanny pack. Uh, let's just go ahead and roll. Maybe we'll find another, like, protective purse or something. We don't have... Oh yeah, there we go. We technically have the space to fill out everything. But maybe that'll call for a whole reorganization. Which, you know, I'm sure you all love jamming... Oh, well, I guess it wasn't that complicated to get. Okay. Ugh, I really want to find a spot. Like, where where is the way to do this? I guess here, right? Here does it. And that is a uh, loss of four health. But in exchange, I get to do damage equal to, like, uh, 5 health per reincarnation, which is really good. And I guess there's also the question of, do I want to fit in this extra phoenix? And I and that will not be able to see the burning, but I don't think it's possible to have more than the six phoenixes that we have here seeing the burning blade. I, I, I don't think there's a configuration that works with that. Um, if, if anyone can figure something out, like, how can I fit a 7th Phoenix in, that'd be great. But, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Um, I think ultimately it's probably better to fit in this Dark Lantern. Or, like, uh, a bit more flames. In fact, I don't even see how I could, like, fit this in with the Dark Lantern. I think this is just, like, yeah, this is just the final build. I mean... Can uh, toss in a burning blade there. Just, I mean, a whetstone to buff up my phoenix and a burning blade. So that's nice. But yeah. Okay, and we'll see how this goes. So, 170 damage. Uh, let's neck and neck, and ooh, they get their own phoenix revive as well, and that takes us out. So unfortunately, we do barely squeak in there. As dominating as we were in the middle of the game, our opponents actually having like more competent builds. Not more common, but rather more sustained during the late game. Um, I think really just did us in because this build is a glass cannon, right? It is just constantly losing all of its health, trying to kill the opponent before they can kill us. Okay, but we actually do manage to win there. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. And if you all want to see more combos, um, there should be plenty of them. And if anyone could think of any combos they'd like me to try... Or any combos that they've tried themselves and had success with, let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next episode.